It's Christine here. And I'm going to talk to you today about rewards and reinforcement. And I'm showing you a little bit of my reward. <laughs> and there's a seal. A seal just popped up right here, a curious little creature. So I'm in my kayak. I decided to come out and paddle my own boat. And I was tired tonight. And uh, it would have been really easy to stay on the floor where I was stretching, thinking, ah, oh, I'm a bit sore, right? I'm, it's been a long day of work. There were some stressful things. There were some great things. I gave it my all today. And I'm just going to lay here because it's kind of easy to just lay here. And then I realized, no. And I said out loud, I am going to go and get up and go get in my kayak and go for a paddle. And you'd think that'd be easy when this is what you have to look forward to, right? There's so many wonderful things, whether it's, hey, I'm gonna play with my kids tonight, or I'm going to listen to that podcast I've wanted to, or I'm gonna call my sister, or I'm gonna call my uncle, or go for a walk with a friend, and then we get tired, and we feel kind of worn out. And Part of adulting and part of balancing our life and balancing our career and this can help this can help at work and in the rest of your non-work life is creating your own rewards and reinforcement so here's how this can look uh, I had I've learned to do it for myself because I'm I'm fully self-employed right I manage my own business I'm a coach a consultant every day looks different there is not routine when, for, at least not for me, when I'm a coach and a consultant. So, I easily could work, 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 or I could play, 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 but no, right? Need to make some income, I have clients that need me, and I love what I do. So how do I find that balance? And I'm learning more and more, and I'm talking to a lot of my clients about this, about creating our own rewards and our own reinforcement for behavior changes, our own reinforcement for doing the things that we know we should you know, air quotes, should do, or we really want to do. Like, I knew I wanted to come out here. I wanted to come out here all day. I'm in the beautiful Comox Valley. I have two seals popping up around me, right? What do you have that you just go, what am I not doing that for? You know, you go out in your, in your garden and just go, look at these hummingbirds humming around and look at these beautiful things growing. Why am I watching TV? Why am I binging on Netflix? Why am I just kind of zoning out? So this is about energy management. So here's how it works. You decide what are the things that, that thrill me that I want to do. Um, and what are the things that I kind of go, ugh, I have to do. And you can shift your mind sh mindset about them. You can reframe things. Those are helpful as well. I'm going to share with you um, a way that you can put rewards and reinforcement into place for yourself. Like I say, for habit changes, for just doing the things that, that you know are good for you and that you want to and that you'll enjoy once you get there. So when we were when we were children, we had to, you know, take out the garbage, do the do the dishes, do the, you know, whatever our chores were, do our homework. There were things we had to do and there was someone reinforcing it. For a lot of us it was a parent or parents or grandparents or whatever that, that structure was, teachers, um, community members, older siblings. Once we start adulting and once we're in our career, there's a lot of self-discipline required. And in a global pandemic, when we can't get out and do the things, you know, oh, I can't go to the gym, so I'm not working out. Okay, what are you gonna, what are you gonna switch it for? Putting those rewards and reinforcements in place yourself can help you paddle your own boat. It can help you feel better about yourself and uh, keep going each day and keep doing it more and more. So you might want to write them in your phone. You might want to um, have a partner who, who's your, your committed partner through this, who says, hey, are you doing the thing? Um, I'll tell you what I do is I choose the, the tasks that I love. And well, it's, not even, it's not even that there are certain things. On certain days, I'm more excited about doing certain things than others. And I, I schedule my day around my energy. So if I've got three things on my desk in front of me and I'm like, I need to do each of these things, I go, which one's really pulling me and which do I want to do? And I either make it the thing I do first and then do the more ugh things or my reward for doing the ugh things. 
So you can play little games with yourself and just go, oh, you know what? <laughs> Here's an example. Like I live in this incredible place where I can go kayaking. Sometimes kayaking is my reward. And sometimes I kayak first so that I know I'll feel great and in a zone and then go do some writing or create some slides or do some reading and some research. Right? So sometimes it's, it's in both directions. So I, I invite you and challenge you to decide how do I want to do those things that I know are important to me, do those things that uh, I know will help me and I, I'm not that excited about them and do more often the things that feel like a treat and a reward and use that as your own reinforcement you will uh, you will i can tell you from myself and my own experience because i always try things first before i talk to talk to my clients about them um, and i can tell you on behalf of my clients that are doing this it really helps to set these rewards for yourself to to pat yourself on the back um, to recognize you know what that was hard and i did it so i'm going to go for my stroll. I'm going to um, put on my earbuds and listen to that album I really like. I'm going to call a friend. Whatever your reward is, choose it, relish it, and and um, make it work for you, right? You deserve it. And you will feel better about yourself. Paddling your own boat is a super powerful thing. Happy paddling. <laughs>